and howdy everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to deploy WordPress onto DigitalOcean. So you'll see in the description a link to um, this uh, WordPress default droplet on DigitalOcean. You're just going to go ahead and press create WordPress droplet. Okay, once we do that, then we'll be able to um, to just, uh, it'll spin up a WordPress droplet. Let's go ahead and just set it to $6 per month, just as simple as possible. Set it to London, give it a unique name if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, I'll just call it WP, WP droplet so that it's easier um, uh, to kind of uh, identify one sec and we're going to go ahead and create a password as well um, and we're going to paste the password in there and we're going to need that password in a later stage very shortly when we try to ssh into it uh, via the command line and we're going to press go ahead and press create droplet okay so that looks pretty good it's going to go ahead and spin up on your wordpress machine you can um you can go into your into your uh, your command, open up something called the command prompt. Okay, so you just search on 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 WordPress for command prompt, and you'll see something like this. If you go back into um, the initial link, you're going to see that you have a command that you need to run. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there, and your droplet IP address. I, it, the command is ssh root at whatever the droplet IP address, which is about to get created over here. Okay, now that it's done, it creates an IP address. I'm gonna paste that as well into the command line. And as you can see, they make it really easy. Are you sure you wanna continue? Yes. Okay, oh, permanently added blank. Permission denied because of a public key. Oh, shnikes, I need to have a public key to, cr to connect to this thing for some reason. Let's try it again. SSH root at blank. Oh, okay, good. That time I can just put in a password. So that's positive. Uh, and that's when you put in that password that we created a second ago. Okay. You could just give it a second um, after you create it. One sec. Okay, copy that. And let's see what happens. Oh, permission denied. Okay, why is the permission denied? Maybe I put in the wrong password. Let's try one more time. Okay, good. That time I just pressed the right... Um, right mouse click and then it worked okay domain subdomain it's king commerce commerce dot biz okay that looks pretty good okay your email address one three four six at gmail.com and my username kramer one three four six and my password Okay, and I'll call it the King Com site. Yes, it's correct. Uh, I don't want to use Let's Encrypt in my case. I'm going to uh, instead uh, do the um, HTTPS and SSL via uh, Cloudflare in part two, which you'll see very shortly. Okay, and then it says that everything is complete. I just uh, visit that IP address within my browser, and there's our WordPress site up and running. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll set up our Cloudflare DNS.